Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you today? Um, it was so boring <laughs> because the weather is terrible in that day and then the quarantine mm -hmm. a lot of <laughs> days yeah. of yeah. staying at home. Um, yes, I understand you. It was very hot. It was a dark, humid. I understand you. Yes. Okay, the season of Jir is very terrible. Yes, this season is, is very bad. How are you doing in the in the platform? Where are you? Uh, I doing that the the middle exam. Uh huh. And I finish that, and I I start to section number four. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, a lot of people are maybe on the test right now, or uh, maybe they have some questions, and I want to review today the test. Okay. So, vamos a repasar un poquito, identificando alguna sección, por lo menos las instrucciones y hacer unos cuantos okay. para, para ver si van por, por buen camino. And then we go to uh, section number four today. And then we go from there. Okay, who else who else do we have in the meeting? We have Diego. Welcome. I hello. I, I finished the, the middle test today. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I finished all and I try to start the number four. The mm -hmm. the the what is the name? Yes, the number four, yeah. Okay, that's section that's four, okay. Section four, yes. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let's wait one minute and then we're going okay. to start. Okay. Okay, very good. Welcome to today's class. How are you, William? Hi, teacher. Good. Okay, excellent. You look good. You look ready. Ready to learn. Yes, teacher. Who else is here in the meeting? Ana, ya, ya, ya saludé a Ana. Estuve hablando con ella. Diego? Hello. Yes. Hello. How are you? Fine, and you? Good, thank you. Uh, who else is here? Jose, 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 I am here. <laughs> Good, excellent. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Okay, Betsy, hello. 
Ya se está conectando ahorita. Hello, Verónica, are you there? Yes, uh, good evening. Everybody. Good evening. Okay, very good. So, um, more people are going to come to the meeting, I'm sure, right? But, vamos a, vamos a tomar una encuesta porque estoy entre, no sé si ir al examen y repasar el examen de, del midterm, de, de mitad, o si la mayoría terminó, se, se, se sienten cómodos, podemos pasar a la sección 4. Entonces, eh, en el chat, pónganme eh, test, si quieren que vea el examen, o section 4. ¿Qué quieren? En el chat, no, eh, pueden poner su opinión. En el chat de Zoom, perdón, <ríe> aclarar. En el chat de Zoom. En el chat de Zoom. Y estoy tomando en cuenta lo que están en la reunión, ¿verdad? Ay, quiero escribir, pero no. Ok. Ok, very good. So, I have four or five people que dicen test. Let's, let's look at the test. Let's look at some areas of the test. No lo vamos a hacer todo ahorita, en una sola hora. Eh, pero sí podemos ver algunas instrucciones y, y ver algunos ejemplos. And then we're going to go to section four, okay? So let me share my computer with you. Y si tienen cualquier duda ahí del, del, del test, <clears throat> please tell us. Okay, very good. So let's go to Inglés Corporativo. I'm going to go to test. Let's go to section A3, al final de la section 3. We have bit exam, okay? So let's go to section A. So we have A, B, C, D, E, so let's go to section A, okay. Instructions, in this section it says, listen to the conversation, check the correct information. Alguien ya pudo lo lograr esta parte? I finished. I'm finished teacher. Okay, yes, let's, finished. Do, let's do only number one, por si cualquiera está, no ha comenzado. Uh, so you have to, si no le funciona acá, yo, yo le di click aquí en la, en donde dice pop out, la flechita que está afuera. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Where did you go for your vacation? I went to Hokkaido in northern Japan. It was my third time there. Oh, really? I've never been there. Did you enjoy it? I sure did. I love the mountains, and there are some beautiful beaches there. Are the beaches crowded? No, you can usually find very quiet beaches. Sounds like it's an excellent place to relax. Oh, yeah, that's why I go there. Two. Okay, so, aquí tienen que, que lo que pueden hacer aquí en esta sección, primero leer las preguntas, ¿verdad? Y después escuchar tomando notas, lo que se llama active listening, ¿ok? So, si me fijo, todas las opciones que tengo tienen Hakairo o Hakiro, ¿ok? So, entonces yo sé que todas pueden que se mencionen en la, en la conversación. Number one, the women visited Akiro for the first time. Esta es una media verdad, verdad, es una media verdad, half truth. Why? Because the woman visited Hakiro, yes, for the first time. But it's not the first time. Correct. It was the third time. Yeah. Okay. The beaches in Hakiro are not crowded. This is true. This is true. Okay, so I'm going to click 
Maybe I change it later, maybe I don't. The woman thinks Hakido is very stressful. No. Did she feel relaxed? Yes, right? Yeah. So this one is not true. The only one is this one, okay? Very good. Questions for this section? No, teacher. Okay, very good. Let's go to the next section. So you have to listen there. Um, what I do, lo primero que yo hago siempre in listening exercise, like multiple choice, I read the questions first, okay? I read the, the options first, okay? Another thing that I do is when I'm listening, estoy escribiendo también, tomando notas. So that's something that you can do. Section B, it says, put the words in the correct order to make sentences. So this is uh, grammar, right? Yes. Saul y se, seo is a fascinating city. Me faltó una. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh -huh. here some of this is, is a little bit difficult because mm -hmm. you have to, to know, uh, for example, here, some of these, uh, uh, for example, the first one, mm -hmm. uh, you can find is, is, is correct, but you have a mayuscula, uh -huh. and you have to know what is the, you have one, two, mm -hmm. or three similar. Yes, yes. Yes, this is going to be a little difficult, okay? Eh, obviamente, porque está escrito correctamente. Si yo veo, es lo mismo. Solamente que, como dice Diego, el capital letters, small letters, eh, algunas no tienen punctuation, no tienen un puntito al final. Entonces, aquí puedo ver que las primeras cuatro no encajan. ¿Por yeah. qué? No tienen un puntito um, al final. Ok. So, yeah, cuatro. perdón, ni las voy a no. ver. Las primeras the, cuatro. The, the, the... Ajá. Pero well, toma correcto en el punto. I answer this, and for example, I select, I choose the Seoul. It's uh -huh. a really fascinating city, the number two, the second. This one. I choose the second. Uh, the second yes. one. Mm. Yes. And if you, you can check and you can find uh, that uh, this, that is the, the correct. Mm. Sí, vamos a ver. I'm going to go and show answers. Let me see. Number one is number two, uh huh, correct. See, sí. yo yeah. aquí, Sao is a really fascinating city. Al final, este. With the point. With the point. Mm, okay, correct. So, mm. look, lo único que les puedo decir aquí es obviously es un, es un glitch de la plataforma. Lo único que les puedo decir es intentar las veces que sea necesario. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, number one is the second option. Number two, Peru. Is the first is one? It, yes, the first one. The number two is the, the first one. Mm -hmm. Correct. Peru is an extremely interesting country. Mm -hmm. Number three, Seria. The four. The four. number four. Mm -hmm. Taipei is too expensive for me. Okay. Very good. See, yo, yo me fuera por esta. No, donde está? This one. Por el punto. Ah, okay. Yo me fuera por eso. Pero obviamente lo que hiciera es eliminar las que yo sé que definitivamente no. Por ejemplo, la primera, la segunda. No escribo el verb to be is con capital I. Entonces sería entre esta y esta. Ya. Yeah. Okay, so review. Number one is the 
second option, la segunda opción. Number two, the first option. And number three, number four. Okay. Okay, very good. So that is section B of the test. It's uh, putting the words in the correct order. Section C of the test, it says circle the correct word. Circle the correct word. Okay. Eh, en realidad no es circle, sino que simplemente es llenar. All right. New York City is very exciting, but it's stressful. Stressful. Number two. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué boring no encaja? Porque no va de acuerdo a lo que estoy diciendo en la primera parte de la oración, ¿verdad? New York City is very exciting, but it's very boring. No. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it contradicts. New York City is very exciting, but it's safe. No. New York City is very exciting, but it's stressful. Now, some, something that you have to remember here, do you remember eh, lo que aprendimos de but? Do you remember? Yes. El uso de but. The combination of, yes, when combining uh -huh. that um, two or uh, ideas, uh -huh. positive ideas, uh -huh. or maybe uh -huh. in positive and negative idea. It, exactly, exactly what you say, Anna. So here, New York City is very exciting. Positive, right? Yes. Yeah. Es algo positivo. So when I use but, my other part of the sentence has to be negative. So which word is negative here? Boring, maybe. Uh, safe. No, safe is positive. This is positive. Es una palabra positiva, seguro. Uh, stressful? Yes, this can be a negative. So I'm going to put the negative there. Now, ¿por qué no puedo usar boring? Porque boring es como algo negativo. ¿Por qué no puedo usar boring? New York City is very exciting, but it's very boring. Me estoy contradiciendo. Es decir, es bien emocionante, pero bien aburrido. <laughs> no, right? You can't. So, this one, no. Okay? The only option that I have is stressful. La única opción que me queda, all right? Very good. Questions for this section? ¿Alguien tuvo una pregunta aquí? ¿En alguna de estas, de estas preguntas? Yes? No? no? Okay. Very good. Remember, uh, try to use, try to remember the, ¿cómo se llamaban estas palabras? But, and, though, however. Do you remember? Conjunctions. Conjunctions. Yes. Conjunctions. Very good. Conjunctions. ¿Qué es lo que hacen las conjunctions? Es unen diferentes ideas. In una sola oración. Okay, very good. Let's go to section D. Section D. It says complete the sentence with should, shouldn't, or can't. Modos. Modal verbs. Do you remember? Yes, hicimos bastante de eso, ¿va? Hemos hecho should, eh, can't, uh, will, would. Okay, complete the sentence with should, shouldn't, or can't. Now, do you remember what is the, the difference between shouldn't and can't? Do you remember? Well, shouldn't I, is, is okay. more polite. Sí, puede ser. Um, shouldn't. Uh -huh. shouldn't is, is um, about the, uh -huh. It's 
So yes. It's like a so yes. And can so, is like a order. Order. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Obligation or a order given an order. Yes. Very good. This city can be dangerous at night. You blank stay out too late. Estamos dando como un consejo, ¿verdad? En esta. This city is very dangerous at night. Right? You shouldn't stay out too late. Eligieron shouldn't? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like uh, you're giving a, uh, advice. Consejo. Like, for example, if you go to Soyapango, right? At nighttime, this city is very dangerous at night. You shouldn't stay out too late. Yes, very good. Okay. Another section, number two. Let's try number two. ¿Quién quiere hacerla? Number two, me. Uh-huh. Go. You can travel by subway late at night. There are no trains after midnight. Okay. What do you think? Can't. You can't, can't. travel by subway at night. Yeah. There are no trains at midnight. Very good. Yes, correct. Okay. All right. Very good. Number three. Who wants to do number three? Me. Okay. I Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, the weather is best in the fall. You should go there then. Okay, so you should go there then. Very good. Recommendation, advice. Okay, good. So it's easy. Ah, no, wait. I think you can. No, so let us, so let us, esas tres. Okay, section E. It says match the problem with the advice. Then use information to write conversations. Instructions, match the problem with that advice. Ah, and remember about health symptoms that we did? You see most? Yes, okay. Remember? Yes, very good. Who wants to do number one? Uh, if you have a fever, I take some aspirin. Okay, very good. Take some aspirin, very good. Hay otras? Yeah, uh, number... Number two? Two, yes. A sunbird. Mm -hmm. uh, try this lotion. Yes, very good. Use a heating pad? No, right? What no. is a heating pad? It's like a, like a bag with hot water that you put. No, uh, that, that is not a good idea. Yeah, that's not a good idea. See a dentist? No, right? It's, no. it's nothing. Nothing to do with it. Take some aspirin? Mm, no. Maybe. But try some lotion? Yes, better. Number three, who wants to go? Anna, you want to Me. do number three? Uh, Sir Mosul, use a hair and pain. A hair and okay. pain. Yes, sore muscles. That means my arms hurt, my legs hurt. Uh, use a heating pad. See a dentist. Take some aspirin. Try this lotion. Uh, take use some a aspirin. Pad. A the heating first pad? one. Puede ser. No, it's the first one. Okay. Take some aspirin. Mm, algunas aspirinas ahora son como para dolor de cuerpo. So. Sore, do you understand the word sore? What is Agudo. sore? Sí, como, como después de que vas al gimnasio, te quedan, el siguiente día te sentís los músculos. Mayugado. Sore. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, number four. Uh, Andrea, I don't know if you are there. You want to help us do number four? No sé si ya, ya llegó a esta parte del examen. You there? Number okay. four, yes. Okay. Uh, 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 let me see. William, William, you're, ahí estás, ¿verdad? Mm. Number four. Yes, teacher. A, a toothache. Tooth a toothache. 
Mm -hmm. See a dentist. See a dentist. Yes, very good. See a dentist. Very good. All right. We don't have to check. You guys are doing very good. Exercise F. Complete the conversation with bottle, jar, pack, or tube. Um, this conversation estaba en la... Era un vocabulario que estaba en, en el video de, de health symptoms. Ok. Yo creo que no, no, no toqué ese, ese vocabulario. So. But maybe well, you can do it. I finished yeah. this. I finished, teacher. Ok. So, Diego, you want to help us? Yes. Number one, customer. What do you have for a call? Pharmacist. Take this of vitamin C, take one every day. Well, I select, I choose, uh, take this bottle, number one. Yes, okay, very good. Take this bottle, okay, very good. Now, before we continue, let me explain. A bottle can be, for example, where you put vitamins. Yeah. When you buy when you buy vitamins in the store or in the pharmacy, a jar is what material? It's a jar. De qué material está hecho? A jar. Uh, let, me, let me put Google, like a, Google image. Like vidrio. Glass. Vidrio. Huh? Yes, glass. glass. Very good. Glass. Very good. And the other word was pack. And two, pack. a pack, like an ice pack, a pack. And two, like a tube, uh, tube of cream. Yeah, no sé si pueden ver. <laughs> tube. Like, uh, for example, no sé si, bueno, toothpaste, también viene un tooth, right? Toothpaste. Okay, very good. So then, number two, who wants to do number two? Me. Okay. The customer can I have something for dry skin. Pharmacist, I suggest, I suggest this of hand cream. Applying some every morning, bottle, jar, pad, and two. Um, in this section, that correct is jar, the second. Okay, can I have something for dry skin? Pharmacy, I suggest this jar of hand cream. Yes. Jar is a glass, do you think? Yes. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? It's a tubo. Uh, it's okay. No. Yeah. Yes, ah. it's a, sería un tubo, como la, tubo. la crema, la yeah. crema de mano. A cream. Right? Yes, that's yeah. correct. Tube, I suggest this tube of hand cream. All right, number three, who wants to do number three? Me. Do it. Okay. Number three, Most customer. Who? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay. Si quiere, si quiere está, me... hace la otra, perdón. Si quiere que vaya la, la, la... ¿Y quién? ¿Verónica? ¿Sí? Que vaya yes, Verónica no primero y después tú haces las cuatro. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay. Eh, customer, may I have something for a toothache? No, yes, it's number three. Okay. Pharmacy, of course, try this tube of a special toothpaste. Very good. It's number two. Two. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Number four. Okay. Number four. Customer, could I get something for a sort through? Pharmacist. Pharmacist. Sure. Here is a of cough groups. They really work. Uh, I choose pack of okay. cough groups. Yeah, let me see. Yes. Vamos a decir. Pack of cough. Cough drops. 
Yes. Los paquetitos que venden así, ¿verdad? House. House. <laughs> All right, very, very good. So pack. Excellent. You guys are going to get 100. No, yeah, 100 in this test. Okay, very good. The reading article, um, se lo dejo para que ustedes lo hagan. Okay, the reading article. Uh, teacher. Uh -huh. Do you have questions? Uh, I, 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 I have a question about this. I finished, but uh, in the instruction said that you read, this, read the article, then check for four things people suggest the right should do four we ha we can select four okay this is the 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 the, the question uh -huh. because when i when i select the the uh, for example the the answer uh -huh. uh, i choose only one in this is correct ah entonces solo solo hay una correcta one option uh -huh. Uh -huh. only mm -hmm. one option yes. yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's a mistake. Okay, very right. good. Voy a tomar nota de esta y se la voy a mandar a, a los okay. administradores. Okay. Please. Okay, very good. All right. Sí. So thank you. Aha, uh -huh, Veronica. I have a a question, but it's a exercise two point six. I try to too many uh, many times, but always mm -hmm. is wrong. Okay. Deme, deme I, solo, uh, perdón. Deme solo un, un segundito. Eh, equipo. Solo quiero contestarle a Verónica esa. Eh, y después vamos a la sección 4. Son listos. Eh, section 2. What exercise, Verónica? Uh, 2.6. Okay. Uh, y es, le envié la imagen, creo que es la tercera, pero es la de Oint, Ointment. Number three. I think. To uh, put. Try. I, I, I go, uh -huh. Yo le puse put, pero nunca me dio la. Pusiste to put. To put, yes. Uh -huh. mm, sin ningún punto, así nomás. Eh, uh -huh. Minúsculas. Tal vez sí, I don't know. Uh -huh. Ah, only that. Uh -huh. Maybe, ok, 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 maybe for this. Ajá, yo lo ponía completa la, la, la frase. Ah, y en no, algunos, no. no me lo valió, menos en ese. Uh, ok. Try, try only the phrase in number three. Okay, very good. Eh, voy a seguir compartiendo porque tengo que, eh, voy a ir a, acá. Les quiero mostrar una foto. Okay, section four. Ready? Listos? Ya llegamos aquí a la sección cuatro. Yes. Okay. Eh, ya vamos a ver el video, pero antes de eso, eh, Yo quiero introducir el tema de mi manera. <laughs> okay. The topic is a, the topic is comparatives and superlatives. Okay, so repeat after me. Comparatives. 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 Okay. And the other lesson is superlatives. Repeat. Superlatives. Superlative. Superlative. Superlatives. Okay. So, what what is the difference between the two? Okay, first ah? I want to I want to show you. No película, pictures. creo que. Espera, Evo, Evo. <laughs> Evo, te voy a, te voy a poner en mute. <laughs> okay. Very good. So, um, I'm waiting for the picture here. I want to show you the picture. I think you're going to see very good here. Okay, so superlatives. Now, the superlatives is when I compare, I'm sorry, empecemos con comparatives. Comparatives is when I am comparing two things, only two things. Okay, superlatives 
is when I am comparing three or more things. Okay, very good. So, uh, for example, for comparatives, I use ER. For example, si quiero decir, eh, ¿cuál carro creen que usted es más rápido? Un Ferrari or a Honda? <laughs> Which one do you think is faster? Ferrari. Ferrari, Ferrari right? <laughs> So I'm going to say the Ferrari is faster, faster. So uh, puede decir is very fast. Yes, you can say that. It's correct. También. Mm. But si quiero comparar Ferrari and Honda Civic, I'm going to use faster, faster. So I say the Ferrari is faster than the Honda Civic. Okay. Now, y si quiero decir, digamos que hay tres carros, Ferrari, Honda, and Kia, which is faster? Ferrari. The Ferrari is the fastest car. Imagínense si los tres están en una, una pista de, de carreras. The Ferrari is the fastest car. Okay. Very good. Young. Repeat. Young. Young. ¿Cuál es el comparativo young. de young? young. Younger. 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 ¿Cuál younger. es el superlativo? Superlative. Younger. Youngest. 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 Okay. So, for example, let's say that I have a uh, Diego. Vamos a decir que Diego tiene 20 años, 20 years old. Yes, okay? that is true. It's true. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Diego, right? And let's say uh, uh, Nineve is 22. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, and I am... I am 38 because yesterday was my birthday. Okay? So, if I want to compare Diego and Nineve, how do I say it in English? Uh, I'm, go I'm using uh, young, younger, youngest. Diego is, is younger than Nineve. Very good, very good. Diego, como lo dijeras, you can repeat. Uh, Diego is younger than Nineve is the uh -huh. same. Yes. Or yeah, you can say I am, right? Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am younger than Nineve. Yes. Now, let's say I want to compare now Diego, Nineve, and the teacher. Who is the youngest? Diego is the youngest. Okay. Diego. Very good. Now I want to say who is, I want to use old, el mayor. How do I say it now? Uh, uh, teacher Carlos the teacher. is the oldest. Yes, very good. Now, if si quiero comparar solo Nineve y Diego, how do I say it using old? I am Nineveh. older than Diego. <laughs> older. 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 <laughs> older. All right, so. Regresando aquí a, a, a la foto, ER for comparatives. You use ER. <laughs> la mayoría de los verbos van a tener ER. Um, superlative, EST. Do you see? EST. La mayoría van a tener EST. Okay. Mm. All right. So let's go practice. Let's go practice. All right. Very good. Okay. So. For example, I want to use, I'm going to give you an adjective. I want to use uh, a big, the adjective big. Es un adjetivo, un descriptivo. What is the, what is the comparative? Bigger. 
Bigger. bigger. And the superlative? The biggest. The biggest. biggest. Yes. Like the restaurant. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, so I want to I want to compare here bigger. Okay, for example, let's compare countries. Let's talk about countries. They, uh, give me two countries. Uh, let's say Evo. New York. Uh, okay, New York. And one more, Evo. Give me another country. No, but New York is a city. Yes, uh, sorry. Uh, El Salvador and the United States. Uh, okay. El Salvador and USA. United States. Okay, so these are the countries that I'm going to compare. So, Evo, uh, Evo how do you use bigger? The United States is big, bigger than El Salvador. Yes. Is he correct? Uh, yes. 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 Okay, very good. Now, we use then como para ayudarnos a completar el, el, el comparativo, right? United States is bigger than El Salvador. Okay, now let's see. Alex, are you there? Yes, I am. How do you compare with biggest? Uh, how do you use biggest? Ah, te tengo que dar otro país. Let's say, for example, I'm going to use uh, Australia. Uh, what do you think? Uh, the biggest is probably right. So I think you, you just need this uh, one country, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, United States is is huh? biggest is the biggest I, yes mm -hmm. yes very good okay now obviamente entre los que estamos teniendo esta conversación ya sabemos que estamos comparando yes. We're, verdad entre nosotros estamos hablando del de Salvador United States and Australia so you come into the conversation and you say United States is the biggest country. Okay, very good. So, do you understand here how to use big and bigger and biggest? Okay, so entonces yes. usa el calificativo en su forma normal, comparativo y superlativo. Repeat in English normal adjective, normal, normal, normal adjective. adjective. Comparative, comparative, superlative. Superlative. Okay, very good. So, uh, I'm going to uh, put you in groups and we're going to do some comparing. Okay? Now, ¿qué podemos comparar? Eh, pueden, pueden ver quién, quién es más alto, quién es mayor entre ustedes. Okay? You can compare things to. You can compare things to. You can compare countries if you want. You can compare a, here in El Salvador. You can compare the departments if you want. You can compare cities. Okay. You can compare cars. A lo que le gustan los carros. Okay. You can compare cars. All right. Or food or restaurants. Okay. Let's go to groups and. Por el WhatsApp les voy a mandar eh, la foto que, estamos, que estábamos viendo con un listado de vocabulario más amplio. Ok, so let's go to groups. Ok. okay.
Uh, well, I, I, I can. Okay. I can give you an example. Okay. Number one. Uh, the, the, the brand, the, 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 the the, the, the. <laughs> Toyota, Toyota is better than than, than Nissan. Nissan. Okay, I'm going uh, but, to write. Yes. Uh -huh. it's okay, yeah. I think. Okay, I will do the next one, and then uh, William, and then uh, I don't okay. know, Ibo. Yes. Okay. Uh, Tesla is the most the coolest uh, make the world for Tesla is coolest. Yes, coolest. I think it's coolest. No, of course, cool. it is the coolest. A sorry, brand sorry. of the word. Yes. Coolest. Is, is okay? the coolest. You can coolest. say brand. B R A D. But brand. Say mark, you can say brand. Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, Tesla is coolest. Okay. The coolest. Uh, I don't know. Okay, who is going to give me the next one? Okay. Lempa uh... River. <laughs> Lempa River. Lempa River. Okay. That. For example, that the the cathedral or oh, the the metropolitan the metropolitan cathedral in El Salvador is more famous mm -hmm. than other church around the world. Yes, very good, very good. Okay. Um, are, are you talking about cities in El Salvador? Yes. Okay. Uh, for example, what, where is the coldest place in uh, in El Salvador? Maybe the the hospital. Hospital, very cold. Okay, so say for example, you're comparing uh, you're comparing Santa Ana, and you're comparing uh, San Salvador, and you're comparing Pital. Which is the coldest place? Pital is. It's the coldest. Yes. How do you say it in complete sentence? The hospital uh -huh. is the coldest uh, place in El Salvador. Yes. Perfect. That's correct. That's correct. Now, using the word cold, let's say you're you're comparing Santa Ana and and Chalatenango. How do you compare with cold? How do you say Santa it? Ana with Chalatenango? Mm -hmm. Ahora solo estamos comparando dos. Maybe I think that Chalatenango is, hold, is colder than Santa Ana. Yes, very good. ¿Escucharon usted el resto del grupo? Yeah. ¿Qué usó ella? ¿Cómo usó el, el adjetivo? Can you repeat, Anna? The Chalatenango is the is colder than Santa Ana. Colder. Uh -huh. Colder. Uh -huh. Than Santa Ana. Yes. Mm -hmm. So entonces si estamos comparando dos cosas, ER, colder. If we are comparing three or more places, we say coldest. The super Latin. A high superlative, E-S-T, okay. very good. Okay, let's see, uh, who else? Bessie, are you there? 
Betsy? No? Jose, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Betsy, good, good. Sorry, okay. I, I was mute. I'm mute. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, so let's say if we want to compare uh, hottest places in El Salvador. Hottest. Ahora, Betsy, tú vas a hacer, tú vas a comparar hot. Quiero que hagas un comparativo y un superlativo with hot. Uh, okay. Comparing places like, here in El Salvador. Like San Miguel is more hot than Sonsonate. Mm -hmm. Now, do you say, say to San Miguel is hotter than Sonsonate? Ahí está, that's correct. So we say hotter. Hotter mm -hmm. than Sonsonate. En vez de decir more hot, we mm -hmm. say hotter. Okay. okay. Now, let's say you're comparing Sonsonate, San Miguel, en La Libertad. You're comparing, bueno, ya no es comparativo, sino es superlative. Now you uh -huh. have three. How do you say it? San Miguel, Son Sonate, en Son Sonate. Which one it was the other department? I don't Libertad. remember. Okay, Libertad. so we have Libertad, Son Sonate, and San Miguel. But you have to use now, te voy a ayudar, hottest. Hottest. Mm -hmm. How do you say uh, it? The, the San Miguel and Son Sonate. It's hotter than La Libertad. Ahí está el comparativo. Very good. Now, superlative. Hottest. Ajá. San Miguel en Son Sonate. No, allí no puedes usar dos, sino no, no. que solo puedes usar It's uno. only one. Uh -huh. Ajá. Hottest. We did say two or more. Okay. And then I only... I am only going to say San Miguel. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, only one, porque ese es el que se destaca. Mm -hmm. eh, San so Miguel superlative. Mm -hmm. is the hottest of uh, Son Sonate en La Libertad. No es necesario nombrar los otros, sino que simplemente decir, it's the hottest, place. Is the hottest place. Yes, okay. place in El Salvador. Yes, so, Son Sonate is the hottest place in El Salvador. ¿Por qué ya no tengo que usar los otros cuando estoy hablando de superlativo? Porque él es, es el que estoy nombrando es el que se destaca sobre encima de los mm -hmm. demás. Okay. So no tengo que nombrar los otros. Okay. Comparative, yes, I have to name two things in the mm -hmm. sentence. Mm -hmm. Jose, you ready? Yeah, I think so. Tell me, um, what, what is the biggest department? Biggest department in El Salvador. For, for people, for <laughs> extension. Good, good question. <laughs> size, territory, just, wow. just the size. Y puedes decir cualquiera que tú penses, porque okay. no, yo, no, yo no he medido. <laughs> I don't know. Can, nah, good question. Maybe. I think uh, it's Chalaque. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. She says Chalatenango. Chalatena. Eh, voy a comparar Chalatenango con qué? What, con, whatever. Con other department that you went. Uh -huh. eh, Chalatenango is biggest than La Paz. Biggest or bigger? Which one do I no. use for comparing? Bigger. Yes. Bigger because it's comparative. Yes. Very good. Yes. And. And another one is, ah. eh, for example, La Paz, Ooh, Chalatenango, in Cuscatlán, 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 mm -hmm. La Paz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, in that case, Chalatenango, Chalatenango is the biggest. biggest. Yes, it's the biggest. So, no, no es necesario nombrarle el resto, sino que digo... Chalatenango is the biggest. Oh, Cabañas is the biggest. Okay. But this, okay. Tulutan is the, is the biggest in the oh, country. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, Tulutan is the biggest department. The, 
Okay. The map is in the information of uh, of COVID. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Now you can say. Um, uh, bueno, ma eh, mañana vamos a, vamos a hablar qué pasa cuando la palabra tiene dos, dos o tres sílabos. ¿Entienden lo que yeah. es sílabo? Sílabos yeah. son las, la, la, los quiebres que tiene esa palabra. Por ejemplo, beautiful. How many syllables do you hear? Three. Beautiful. Three. Has three syllables. Okay, so if I want to compare, right, and I want to compare tall, do you understand tall, right? Yes. The, uh, the person, the size of the person. Mm -hmm. And I want to say Jose Luis is the, no, <laughs> no, no, que, eh, me voy a quedar con el ejemplo de beautiful. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry. For example? Beautiful, no, let's use beautiful, okay. Let's say, for example, going... hey, my case is handsome. <laughs> you need to compare it to another one. <laughs> okay, let me see. Handsome. No, no tiene tres, solo dos. Only two. Yeah. <laughs> Only two okay, say beautiful. I say, for example, uh, Anna is the most beautiful person in the world. It's when they use the superlative. That's when I use the superlative. Yeah, when they use the comparative is when you use the more beautiful. Yes, exacto, Ana. Esa es la regla. Okay. <laughs> Pero mañana quería explicar eso. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no problem. Sure. <laughs> it's very good. It's very good. So, if did you look at the, the picture that I sent in WhatsApp? Did you yes. see? Yeah. So, I have a small vocabulary there. Fast. Faster. Fastest. Después tengo otros adjetivos como uh, young, nice, strange, big, hot, happy, crazy. Ahí está beautiful. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Do you see, Ana, in the picture? You have famous, beautiful. Yes. Entonces ahí están. But tomorrow we're going to practice more. Okay. All right, let's go back to the groups. Okay. I'm, go I'm going to close. Okay, very good. Uh, everybody did very good for this exercise, okay? Um, this This lesson, for comparatives and superlatives, eh, es bastante profundo. Eh, no, normalmente se ve ya en, en un inglés intermedio. Es una lección de intermedio, en realidad. Eh, entonces, porque tiene que tener ya una base, ya la mayoría de ustedes tiene una buena base de inglés. Ok, so I showed you uh, in WhatsApp, I put a picture, right, that you can see the picture of the comparatives. But I have a link here. Hay un enlace. Le voy a dar click para abrir ese enlace. Esta página está, eh, es un buen recurso para ustedes. Look, you can say, you can see the word here, the adjective, the comparative, and the superlative. Okay? okay. And if you want to pronounce, uh, see, hear the pronunciation. Uh, no sé, creo que no van a poder escuchar porque... Let me see. Angry. Angry. Angriest. Okay. Beautiful. More beautiful. Most beautiful. Okay. So, it's very good that you can hear the pronunciation for the superlatives, okay? We're going to practice this tomorrow. So, tomorrow vamos a ver qué pasa cuando tiene dos o tres sílabos la palabra. ¿Qué pasa cuando es un adjetivo de, pala de, de una palabra larga? ¿Cómo uso more? ¿Cómo uso must? ¿Ok? All right, so we're going to do that. And we're going to do a project. Van a ustedes hacer una presentación, un PowerPoint, and then you can do it, you can present it. Okay. All right, so, but we're going to do it in class. 
¿okay? No es algo que tienen que hacer para tareas, sino tratar de usar el lenguaje aquí lo más posible. Eh, speaking, ¿verdad? Right? Ok, questions. Questions for this. You can start looking at section four. Section four has an introduction for this. Uh, section four has an introduction for this topic. So yo le, yo le di una media introducción. Okay. And I want to give you time to practice. All right. Questions for this? Creo que la, la mayoría ya, ya hizo el examen de, de midterm. So congratulations. And then we can go to section four. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? We're going to practice this. Okay, tomorrow. okay teacher, see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.